Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to the World 2019. The Road to Worlds is now beginning yet again. We are on our way to getting another invite and whatnot and to fight for the championship title of Worlds 2019. And so <clears throat> right now we are going to be moving along with our post rotation decks with the Zorg our Boulder deck, which um which is adapted from the regionals, not the regionals, the world champion deck um, that just won worlds this past weekend. Um, basically, I took out the the cards that are no longer available in rotation. I tried to place them to the best of my ability. I did pop in a, a resource management or anguri in there to have access to extra resources here and there. And so we'll see how this works in the post rotation format which does him more heavy more item reliant and therefore trash challenge is still going to be putting in a lot of work however zorg is our main player zorg with its 210 hp its ability trade you get to discard a card every turn and then you draw two cards now you have to be even more careful with what you discard because you don't have the freeness of puzzle of time to just get back cards that you might or might not need um, later on in the match, therefore why you trade and when you trade it becomes even more important than it was before And then Righteous Beating deals 20 damage times every Pokemon you have in play including Zorg Therefore up to 120 and 150 with um, a choice band A 4-4 line of that so that we can draw as many cards as we can And then we have a 3-2 line of Trash Challenge Garbodor, which is the card that is being covered right here um, Trash Challenge deals 20 damage for each item card in your opponent's discard pile now, why is this important? Because Trash Challenge um, is a very annoying attack. It basically limits. There's it, there's two things that happen. Either you your opponent doesn't limit their item cards, and you have a very powerful um, non GX attacker that's dealing a lot of damage, or they do limit their item cards, and basically you have an item locking deck. So Garbodor really really nice to have as a partner, and then we have disruption in the form of Cortana GXs. Slice of Ability, which lets you discard a card from your hand. I mean, rather, no. <laughs> Once you bench Cardana from your hand onto your bench, you get to choose a special energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon and discard it. So really nice ability right there. The attack Gale Blade is also pretty interesting as it does deal um, 70 damage and you put Cardana back into the deck to potentially use the ability. And then finally we have the Blade GX attack, which simply lets you take a prize, right? You declare the GX, you take a prize, and that can be your win condition for the late game. Now, I also did include the one Tapu Koko because Flying Flip could be good. Every Flying Flip uh, means one less item card that Trash Challenge needs to get a 1 KO. And it also puts things like Tapu Lele's on the bench in range of Zorak GX with a Choice Band getting a one shot. And we also have the Orange Guru with its resource management attack so that you can actually reuse stuff, um, different cards that you are running in order to, um, to reuse them and get an advantage that way so having said that um supporters wise we are replacing bridget with this beautiful pokemon fan club card it looks really cute um it only it allows you to search your deck for up to two basic pokemon reveal them and put them into your hand so it's different than bridget because it's two therefore one less however you do put the pokemon into your hand which means you can actually fan club for Cartana, then bench it and use the ability. You can also fan club for a Lele for the next turn to choose a different supporter. So it has some advantages over Bridget. Definitely the difference between two or three is pretty crucial. Um, it could also be Apricon Maker if you decided to run Nest Balls, like heavy Nest Balls and Timer Balls and whatnot. Um, in order to save space, I'm choosing to run Pokemon Fan Club. I'm not saying this is the ultimate way to do it. There are other ways to do it with Apricon Maker, but I am choosing to do Pokemon Fan Club for today. I have not tested it a lot. Um, this is actually the first game that I'm going to be playing post-rotation. Today are the first games that I've been playing post-rotation, so we'll see. We'll see, uh, Travis, if they're actually or if it's actually underwhelming or if I should just be maxing out Nest Balls and calling it a day. Um, we also have Triple Judge, it's the answer that we have as N, and because we do have Zora, Judge is a lot stronger in this deck. We do have Double Mallow, in order to get the cards that we will need um, at, at any given point, we have Triple Kuzma. We have one, I mean two Cynthias, we have Double Acerola so that we can heal our attackers. And then we have um, 
the engine of triple mysterious treasure to search for Lele, double nest ball to search for basics, double timer ball to search for Zorks and or trash challenge car carpenters and Travis thank you so much for choosing to subscribe that's very very kind of you thank you so much for choosing to subscribe to the channel thank you for the support um and so um we also have a, a big array of tech cards um there's no floatstone in the deck and therefore we have one switch and one escape rope for the different situations that might come up we only have two field blowers since uh no need to worry about parallel or garbo toxin so field blower uh two maybe three could be good because it does power up trash challenge but i think two is fine we have the one stretcher to recover pokemon we have counter catcher as a, acting as a fourth guzma we have the one enhanced hammer to deny energy as well we have the one palpat to reuse supporters <clears throat> so we don't have puzzles but you don't have stretchers and palpats to reuse some of the cards along with oranguru then we have a 4-4 energy split and the triple choice band so i think this deck it has a lot of different things going on i think let's see if we can get some good games in with it and we'll find out how good the world champion deck is in this new rotation format um i'm choosing not to play ultra world just like the world champion chose not to play ultra world because we do have fan clubs timer balls mysterious treasures and nest balls to search for the pokemon that we need right maybe i would need a third timer ball though now that i think about it comparable to the third evo soda um team polyswag thank you so much thanks so much alex for choosing to subscribe guys the support has been amazing and that's 11 months in a row that's crazy thank you so much alex thank you so so much next month you'll get a purple table mon as a reward for subscribing that's really cool <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much and thank you to everyone who has followed as well there's been so many new followers in this stream um hand six thanks so much for the follow thank you guys so so much purple hype indeed okay we are up against hmm okay this hand is a very underwhelming uh... I mean, do I just thin and judge my opponent? I mulliganed, yeah. It, yeah, probably Zoro Lucario. Maybe Zorak Lycanroc. I think I, I'm gonna judge just to find more stuff. Or not. <laughs> There's the Pokemon Fan Club. Definitely underwhelming. Maybe I could have waited a turn. And we'll pass. <laughs> I actually did not know that, Alex. Well, that's pretty cool, because you'll have a purple table mon as long as you keep subscribing for another year <laughs> so thank you so much for the support alex and fanny pack boy thank you so much uh field blower that's fine tail and lisa for five i never did make the change to the malamar deck right guys i never switched out the copy guts for tail and lisa i should have okay the lead loose is nice potentially for us um oh, this is so bad <laughs> why am i drawing this bad wait what zorg zygarde oh my one card in hand okay we need a head slip here oh gosh i hate time rolls so much oh that was close <laughs> that was actually very close okay Psyguard is 10 away from KO in us, right? It's 50, 80, 100. That's not a KO. <sighs> is Tate and Lisa good? I, uh, I think it's good in some decks, such as Malamar. Not great in others. Okay, so what am I getting here? I think I'm getting a Zerua, for sure. And then I am Mallowing. I'm definitely using Mallow here. For what though? For another Zorua? And that's a basic energy my opponent has right there. Another Dimer Ball maybe? No, I, I definitely think I draw supporter, right? But I guess I'll lay a little bit because that gets me a basic and a draw supporter. Yeah, I definitely need those two, I think. So I'm gonna lose the energy. I think that's fine. 
Um, we're gonna try and bluff the no. Um, <laughs> thanks so much for the follow. Um, we're gonna bluff the no. And no garb, I guess. Although the energy kind of gives it away. Okay, and then we get a KO. So our hand got fixed thanks to our timer ball top deck and the fact that we flip hands. I'm really not looking forward to to playing timer ball at events and then flipping double tails and losing because of that. I'm really not looking forward to that. Sigurd can never one shot my Zorak though, unless my opponent is playing. Um, the stadium, which it could be a reason to play it, right? Definitely be a reason to play it. Now we're gonna see a Cynthia. Dual ball flips 2.0 indeed. <laughs> Fun fact, I never played a deck that had dual ball. And it's oh he finds a sled. I mean the enhanced hammer, not the sledgehammer. Can he whiff an energy though? That's two item cards. Okay, he he whips the energy. That's really big. We'll bench our Travis for sure, and then we'll Cynthia. We find a DC. That's nice. We'll definitely trade out with the Pokemon fan clubs. And I mean, I think I burned the nest ball. Or do I? I mean, getting Coco. There's merit to getting Coco. There's also merit to just having another Trubbish bench. I guess I'll grab the Trubbish, and then this one I can discard eventually. And this damage right here is huge, actually. Commander Rainbow, sorry we didn't get to meet up at Worlds. I was definitely there all three days, all four days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I mean, I... <laughs> Maybe I did play dual ball. I just I don't think I played dual ball at any competitive event because I never played Mutric. I don't think I've ever played dual ball. <laughs> okay, and the fact that we can attack the side card means we play around Sledgehammer, which is also huge. The Beast Energy gets my point of knockout, but that's completely fine. That is completely fine. One, two, three items this is going to be the fourth. That means that Trash Challenge can KO Buzz. We still have three unit energies left. So we should be good here, I think. We should be good. Why did I think my opponent was playing? Oh, I did KO Azura. Yeah. So this is Zorak Macargo. <laughs> Zorak Macargo, Psycard, Deoxys, Marsh Shadow, Baby Buzz. I feel like my opponent is trying to do way too much with his deck way too much okay there's a pokemon i mean there's the energy that i could have wanted i'm gonna trade the fan club and a serola would have been broken and that's exactly what we got that is actually really broken getting the serola there is so so broken david thanks so much for the follow before i bench anything else i'm gonna trade a lele and double kuzma so this gets me a KO. I'll definitely bench the other Zorua. <clears throat> I mean, should I set up a treasure lunch with the Mysterious Treasure? It is one less Mysterious Treasure to set up to grab a Lele. It's one less card I need to search for later on. If I do, I discard the Travis, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's go for it. No reason not to. We're playing around Sledgehammer, so I'm actually not worried. My opponent has nothing threatening on the board. Absolutely nothing threatening on the board. No Floatstone makes GX really bad, it seems. Eh, I don't know. I think you can play around not having Floatstone. Okay, so my, will my opponent have the Beast Energy? Beast Energy plus Judge, I guess, would be how he can maybe make a comeback. But Tail Lisa means even if he finds the beast energy, we have the return KO. So we are good here. It was in Eels and Dark Cry for a beat. Maybe. Maybe. So maybe I did play it in Eels, actually. That makes a lot of sense. And there's the victory. Yep. There's the victory. Awesome. They actually probably played it in Electric, like uh Electric Rayquaza. 
Um, okay, so fun fact, guys. There was a Malamar Lycanroc deck that did well in the open, indeed. There was also a Malamar Lycanroc at Worlds, day two. And I talked to my friend Tyler in Inomura on, like, Thursday night, and we actually built Malamar Lycanroc because we were like, okay, what beats Malamar Zork? What beats Zork? Lycanroc. Well, let's put those together, right? Because basic energy Lycanroc just runs over Zork decks. And it didn't. <laughs> Zoro Garp just kept destroying it, so that's why we dropped the concept. But it had potential, I guess. It had potential. Um, AJ Rima, what did I play at Worlds? I played Bus Rock, and I did terribly with it. I did terribly with it. Clifton was super into it weeks before Worlds. Yeah, like it sounded pretty good. It sounded pretty good for sure. But I, like, you guys can ask Tyler. We actually built the deck. What deck is looking good post-rotation? I mean, of the four decks we have played, I think, like, we've only played one game with this, but Zorg is Zorg, right? Zorg is just stupidly good. And then, um, I did like Malamar. I do agree that it needs two Tate and Lisas rather than four copycats. Um, I do like... The Psyguard Lycanroc deck was also pretty interesting. Um, I don't know, there is so many decks I still need to try though, like Guardi Sylveon, Metagross, um, Wultron Across my Malamar, Ludicolo Macargo, Swampert Macargo, there's just so much to try out. So, so much to try out. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna bridge it, but I'm gonna fan club. Uh, Judge could be good next turn, because it's like, I have Zorg and my opponent doesn't, <laughs> so that's what makes Judge really good. <laughs> Thank you, AJ Remo. This season should be fun indeed. I'm really looking forward to this season. Okay, so there's a Pokemon fan club. And let's Pokemon fan club here. Oh. So I have two Zoruas priced. Malamar, I mean, Tapu Koko might actually be a good card to get. And I guess I also don't give away the fact that I have Garbodor, so my opponent might play a lot of item cards. Uh, I think I'm safe attaching to Zorua, right? Nothing threatens the Zorua, turn one. Because Malamar doesn't play TT. There's no way he can have, like, switched Lele, TC, KO, and Zorua. I mean, I guess there is a way, but it's unlikely that I'm willing to risk it. What about Rayquaza? It's just Rayquaza without Max Elixir is very underwhelming. And we just played, like, the first thing I tried was Rayquaza Vicobolt. And it felt like, and I had one Tapu Bulu in there, and the one Tapu Bulu put in a lot more work than all the other Rays. <laughs> so I feel like the count should be reversed. Like, it should be Vika Bulu with one tech of Ray rather than three rays and one take off Tapu Bulu. I feel like that's going to be a lot more interesting um, to play around with. That that was my feeling after the few games I played. If I were going to a new Season Cup right now, what would I play? I think I'd play Zoro Garb. I think I would play Zoro Garb. Because the deck inherently doesn't change that much. And people will want to get fancy with like Acrobites and things like that. Um... So Trash Challenge is just gonna put in a lot of work. Already three item cards. My opponent has not seen a Trubbish, which could be a factor as well. How did Malamar do? Malamar did okay. Um, we do need to make changes to a list for Malamar, but Malamar did okay. Nothing spectacular, but not bad either. I do have a lot of faith for Malamar though. I think Malamar is probably gonna be one of the best decks post-rotation. And I think Tapu Goku is a one-off for sure in every Zorak deck because it gives you the pivot, right? Before you needed Flowstone or you use Flowstone, but now you use Tapu Goku to give you the pivot to go into like a Deoxys for the follow-up KO, to go into whatever it is that you need. I also think Malamar gets stronger because you don't have Mew EX anymore to just revenge KO the Necrozmas, you know? Which is a pretty big deal on its own. Okay. So, let's go this, just to thin, and then let's go judge, yeah? Six random cards are better than 
four random cards, so let's give my opponent four, and then we have trade, they don't, and that's really good. This is an interesting trade though, do I trade away the Mallow? Or do I trade away the Mysterious Treasure? Or the Palpat, I feel like it's Palpat here. And definitely trading away, or getting rid of this, for a Trubbish. I mean, we don't know if it's... Oh, we do know. There's a Psychic Necrozma, so we do know it's... Um... We do know it's not the Ultra version, therefore I don't need the Enhanced Hammer to remove a Beast Energy anytime soon. Um, the chances of my Zora going down next turn are very low. There's one Psychic in the discard, there's no Marshadow, there's no Malamars. And my opponent needs that switch effect, so it should be safe. And then we can Mallow for another Zorg to be even safer. Um, there are enough item cards now to where Trash Challenge can KO Marshadow. There's no Dawnwing, so he can't um, he can't get protection, so we should be good here. We should be good. Like despite this game only having started, I can envision how the game will progress, and we should have a solid win for us. Yeah, we should be pretty good here. I mean, the worst thing that can happen is we get put to sleep. And then I just mallow for a switch. Or an escape rope. Do you enjoy coaching, Pablo? Of course I do, Rednax. I love coaching. I really do love coaching. What do I think about Malamar with Ultra and Grossma? I mean, it was always clunky. It might still be clunky with uh, the new format. Um, the pure psychic version seems less clunky on paper, um, but that might not be true. Yeah, B strings might actually make a big difference to that. I really hope we don't stay asleep though, but we do. That's okay. So, very nice top deck. Let us trade number one the Acerola. Yeah. Is there all, uh, my opponent either one he kills me or puts me to sleep. He's not going to. He's not going to be in anything, doing anything too relevant. We do have the switch. The escape rope is priced, so I'm gonna grab a switch and a Kuzma, because that guarantees that no matter how many times he well, eventually a hypnosis might get me, but it's not gonna be anytime soon. And then I can counter catch her. Which is nice, and then we'll switch for Zorg, and the next turn we don't have to Mallow, we can just Kuzma and KO the Malamar, so we have this game 100% under control. And see Steven, if you want coaching information, please send me a message on Facebook, and I'll be happy to give you all the information that you need. Uh, you're playing 4 Ness, 4 Ultra, 2 Timer, and 2 Apricorn in Zoro Bandit. Yeah, that seems like a bit too much. That seems like a bit too much. Um, but it also makes sense, right? It also makes sense. I'm really looking forward to trying out Zoro Bandit as well. I'm looking forward to trying Zoro Bandit. I really liked it when I tried it. Like, after I did so bad at Worlds, I was like, Oh, I should have played Zoro Bandit. I would have had more fun, at least, <laughs> than playing Plus Rock. Um... Might have done better too. Might have done better. Who knows? Thoughts on Olivia. Olivia is also a pretty good card to take into account. Guaranteeing two Zorks is really nice. So I do like the, the idea of Olivia. It's just probably only in Zorg decks. Three Ness, four Ultra, two Timer, and a split of Apricorn and Fang Club. I actually really like the Ness. I think I would drop an Ultra before a Ness Ball. I don't know. I really like Ness Ball. I think Ness Balls are really, really good.
speaking of, <laughs> speaking of, disposal jack still viable without strong and elixir? Probably, probably still viable without those two. Um, just a little bit less so. And yeah, turn to Zorak followed by Judge is indeed quite good. Might even be better. Like maybe that's what we should have been doing rather than playing so many ends. Maybe we could have played Judge. Uh, but yeah, I think the best deck to play Judge in is Zorak decks. The best decks to play Judge in are Zorak decks. So decks that I still want to try. Um, I guess Venus Urikwaza, Gardevoir Sylveon, Metagross, Ultra Necrozma Malamar, Zorak Lycanroc, Zorak Renitia GX, Zorak Shift GX, Zorak Gardevoir GX, Zorak Lycanroc GX, Zorak Elizabeth GX, Zorak Alola Ninetales GX. I should make a list. <laughs> I'm gonna try a spread deck now that there's no Parallel CD. Um, I want to try Hoopa with Weavile, Zork Weavile. There's so many decks I will have to try, or I want to try. Okay, so we see the Lele. We see the Lele, but we have Guzma KO on the poor, poor Marshadow that my opponent ended up benching. And Peter, thank you so much for the follow. Let's go ahead and trade the Nest Ball. And let's go ahead and trade <clears throat> the second Zorg, I guess. I could try Zorg the CDI as well, yes. I could definitely try that. And then we'll bench this. And then we'll Guzma this. <clears throat> and should I even attach here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight item cards. That's pretty good for us. So I'll do this. Just to thin potentially. And then Malo plus Choice Band gets me the KO on the Lele. I just I getting rid of the Marshadow makes a lot of sense here. I could have KO'd the Lele this turn with Trash Challenge, but I'd rather just get rid of the Marshadow. Could you run Roadblock in this deck for the mirrors? Yes. Uh Let Loose Marshadow is really good. Um Roadblock and Malamar could be necessary to actually beat Zorg. Um, what do I recommend? Kike, Zoro Guardia, or Zoro Shift Tree? Uh, I think I would prefer Zoro Guardi because of the self sustaining. And Twilight GX actually seems like a really good GX attack to have in a format where there's no special charge, there's no puzzle of time. Twilight GX actually seems pretty good. What did I think of Tag Team GX in general? Pretty powerful cards, uh, pretty interesting cards. I'm sure there will be some good Tag Team cards, some bad Tag Team cards. Um, pretty neat idea, but they're not relevant until 2019, so I really don't care too much for them right now. Triple Energy on Lele. We're gonna see Akuzma. Oh, get rid of my Travish, that's not very nice. <laughs> That is not very nice opponent. That was not very nice. I mean, I don't care about this Lele. I could hit it, but he could heal it. So I'd rather just escape rope, get a prize, and then Guzma get a prize and win. Um, weakness policy. Interesting. Why would you play weakness policy in this deck? Why would you ever play weakness policy in this deck? I have no idea. And then I just Malo for another Travish, right? And I just Malo for another Travish and I call it a day. Poor Travish, that's okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is Escape Rope to not give my opponent any more information than he needs in order to make a decision. And then I will Malo for my Travish or whatnot. He could end up sacrificing the Orang Guru, which I wouldn't mind. Yep. Like I said, I wouldn't mind that simply because, um, I mean, what I mean is he won't mind that because I can't end him down to a, a low card hand, right? So I'll get the Trubbish, and I'll get a Kuzma, sure. I don't think the second card matters at all because I already have the Trash Challenge right there. I will trade, not the Choice Band, 
I, I mean, I could trade the TT, but I think I'll trade the Lily. Energy could be important to retreat. And then there's the Trubbish. There's the Energy. If he does the same, then he does the same, and then I just goof my KO for the win. On a Malamar, so this is pretty good. Oh, Lily choice. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Daragov, you're completely right. I could have just DC choice banded KO the Lele. I completely that completely skipped my mind. Completely skipped my mind. But yeah, I should have seen that in a closer game. I would be kicking myself if I hadn't seen that. Um, <laughs> I had to win this turn and I missed it. I had to win this turn and I missed it. Zorg, my cargo control is fun. Yeah, it's working my card control. The thing is, you can't control basic energy that well. Yeah. And why do you know? Greninja Break is no longer possible to be played in the new standard format. Uh, is it worth using a Zorg Macargo with another partner? I mean, as long as it's like a 1-1 one -one Macargo, I think it's fine. I don't think it's super necessary, but... If you really wanted to, I think running a 1-1 with my cargo in Zorg decks is fine. How much do you think this deck misses Garp Lock? I mean, quite a bit. Definitely quite a bit. It's less... Um, it's less powerful in that way, if you will. Um, okay, Tana, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. And Paul, I'm I'm good on the lists, thank you, but we can review it whenever we do have that coaching session. Um which cards do you think will be stable cards in the new format? I think Nespol is gonna be a staple. I think choice bands, I think Cynthia's are going to go up in price. I think Judge is going to be a staple in a lot of decks. Um Mysterious Treasures, Lele's, Malos, Guzmas, um, DC's. <laughs> it depends on the deck, right? But I think Nespol is the, the card that's going to be making its way into every single deck. Especially in setup decks, potentially. Especially in setup decks. There's the other Malamar. No Dawn Wings in the discard pile though. So Nespol Choice Band means it's game. Well, it doesn't even attack me with the Marshadow <clears throat> Fan Club. I'm gonna trade the Nespol. And geez. I'll trade the fan club. I can't find a trash challenge. There you go. That's enough, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I should have just won the previous turn though. <laughs> that was silly. That was silly. Mighty you, I already replied to you. No, you cannot play Greninja Break anymore. You cannot play Greninja New Break anymore in the new standard format. That is out of format. You can only play Sun and Moon cards. Um, what do I think about Beast Box? Yes, I think Beast Box. That's another deck that I want to try. Beast Box is pretty good. Um, turn 1 Steven's Resolve. That seems pretty powerful in some decks, like Gardevoir maybe, like um, Beakable decks, maybe Mana Growth decks. Um, just, uh, it's iffy because you don't want to run too many because it's a turn 1 card. But then if you're not running too many, then you won't get them. You won't get it as often early enough. Yeah. Um, you don't think Malamar needs nest balls? No, I agree. I think Malamar is the one deck that doesn't need nest balls because it has Mysterious Treasure to help it. Yeah. It has Mysterious Treasure to help it. Um, okay, so we have the Fan Club, we have the Mysterious Treasure. This is looking nice. Okay. How do I feel about the new rotation? I mean, it's definitely it's definitely slower, but 
it's still pretty familiar, I guess. Um, like, sure, you don't get to just sycamore away your whole hand and get away with it, but it's looking okay. Like, the format is lower, which means newer decks will be... Uh, newer decks will be um, viable. Uh, but I do like it. It's, it, I mean, I've been doing post-rotation for the last 15 years, right? Every single time there's a new format, every single time <laughs> I have to adapt. So it's just one more year of adapting. What deck out of these is my favorite? Um, out of all the ones that we just played, I feel like my favorite is either Zorogarp or the the Psyguard Lycanroc deck. Uh, Malamar was a bit clunky for us at times, uh, but it's also fine, I think. Yeah, I think it's also fine with Cynthia. And wow, this is just amazing. Let's timer ball. Oh, what? This is so broken. <laughs> I'm gonna have to switch the timer ball, uh, the timer ball command to timer ball double hands. This is actually an insane hand to get on turn two. Actually insane. Okay, so the tradable card here, I think, is the Acerola. Might just get a KO here. As long as I find a DC, I might just get a KO. Uh, I'm gonna do Countercatcher. And there's the DC. Beautiful, beautiful. This is just beautiful. This is just beautiful. Um, I mean, Tiger just ended up working okay uh, in the games that I showcased earlier. Um, that's why I'm mentioning Tiger. It has. By using DCE, you can also claw slash with a DCE, which is really nice. Um, I actually wish I had tested Psyguard more in the previous format, especially given the world's results. Um, but Psyguard seems to have potential, and its second attack, the fact that it powers itself up is really nice. And its second attack um, with Diancia and Choice Band can one shot Lele's and stuff. And then, oh my, if my opponent finds a Metal Energy, he just Revenge KOs my Zork. Um, and then the GX attack grants you protection, right? So there's a lot of a lot of good things going for it right now. Um, only two item cards, which means my trash challenge is not going to be doing too too much. Uh, finds a beast energy, which could be good if we find our enhanced hammer or if we find our Curtana. Okay, what about Zurgi 3GX against Zor Carboter? Zurgi 3GX would be a big issue for this deck, of course. Um, you could just switch to playing Psychics and then that solves it, but it could be an issue. One, two, three, four item cards. So I think I'm gonna pressure with my Trash Challenge, right? Yeah, we'll pressure with my Trash Challenge. The stretcher could be nice. I mean, I could end up like acid spray is also pretty good, honestly. Acid spray is potentially better, right? So let's trade first. Or are we going to judge? If our plan is to judge, then I think I do acid spray. Yeah, let's acid spray. Our play here is to acid spray. So I'm gonna judge my opponent. I mean, it's only one less card, I guess, so it's not that big a deal. Only... And burn gold, I did terribly at Worlds. I only won one match, I lost five, and I tied once. So, Zoro, I mean, bus the bus truck deck that I played didn't treat me well at all, <laughs> for sure. Um, do I trade the card, Tana? Yeah, because this is the only special energy my opponent will be playing. And if I really need to, I just stretch the Cartana back. So I'll evolve, and then we shall Acid Spray. It's okay, Burn Gold. It happens, it's part of the game. Oh, uh, we whiff. 
So, with a Psychic, my opponent can't kill my Carpenter. Buzzrock was still a good play indeed. I mean, it got all the way to top 8, right? Wow, my opponent doesn't doubt it for a second. He just immediately benches the Thunwings. Interesting. Oh, has another B string right there. What decks did I lose to with Buzzrock? I lost to Zorak Macargo. I, that's a really weird decision. I lost to Zorak Macargo. I lost to Zorak. Um, I discarded the Countercatcher, right? Oh no, I haven't. Oh, I did. I lost to one Greninja. I tied one Greninja. And I beat one Greninja. <laughs> I never expected to play against three Greninjas. And then I lost to Zorak Macargo. I lost to Zorak Golisopod. And I lost to Bus Rock. I lost the Bus Rock mirror match. Okay, so I think I just. KO this and then I KO that. I mean, things are looking super, super great, but we're also not in any sort of trouble here. I don't think uh, I can do this. I think this will get the choice band, and then I think I just Cynthia. And I have the energy. I'm gonna trade this. <laughs> Dave, <laughs> maybe. I mean, you should have seen my games. A lot of people were watching my games. Um, <laughs> they were, they were something. They were really something. Okay, so we have the Guzma and the energy to pursue that. Um, even a judge to four isn't that um, that big against that big against us. So it's gonna be a close match, right? My opponent will have one prize card left, but we're still gonna win this one. You're still going to win this one. Should you open your world's promos or keep them sealed? You doubt you're gonna sell them? Well, then I would keep them sealed, I think. I would keep them sealed. Would you mind showing the list again afterwards? Of course not. Uh, Legion Heart, I will happily show the list again. Okay, so there's the judge. Um, there's a the judge. My opponent really needs a psychic energy to KO me, and then he needs me to whiff the the the. the the unit energy, and there's the unit energy, so we're not gonna win. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six item cards, so we've won the game. We have Guzma and the energy, so there's nothing my opponent can do here. There is nothing my opponent can do at this point. He finds a metal, that's it. <laughs> like he's not even gonna kill the Zorg. That's how bad it is for my opponent. He's not even going to kill the Zorg. Everything goes down. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Why would you attack? Why wouldn't you retreat and at least try to make me whiff? Okay, GG. GG. Okay. So that's been a lot of Zorg. Garbodor, we are undefeated with the deck. I guess we'll play one more. And then that will be the end of this stream, yeah? Uh, Modern Gamer, I mean, the Lost Thundermons, they look pretty nice, right? Jump Love, Nato and whatnot. But, post-rotation happened today. So, what's going to be good in November? Like, sure, that strategy seems good, but what happens in November is honestly... Uh, not important for me right now because I need to focus now on uh, Philly Regionals, Memphis Regionals, maybe Portland, Brazil. All of that happens before Lost Thunder. May oh, maybe Brazil happens when Lost Thunder comes out. Um, but right now, uh, I need to figure out post rotation before I even start thinking about uh, the Lost March Pokemon. Would I like to go first? Yes, please. I think I've gone first so much today. So, so much today. Rayquaza, Shuckles are always going to be good. I mean, probably, but I generally haven't even looked at the cards. I just know... Um, like, I'll look at them when I'm going to play in Brazil. Yeah, that's when I'll be taking a really good look at the cards. But before that, it's just... Um, there's no reason to for me right now. I've been getting Rob Fan Club a lot as well, <laughs> which is really nice. 
Uh, I am going to Philly Regionals, Fanny Pack Boy. And Mr. Rayleigh, thank you so much for hanging out. It's been a while since I last saw you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here. Ooh, okay, so double stack attack already. Double stack attack already. Zorua, Zorua, and then Passer Rooney, right? I mean, I could... Electric Ball is not terrible, right? Electric Ball is actually not a bad attack. Oh, it needs two Lightning. Never mind. I thought it was Lightning DTE. Ugh. Okay, never mind. That was probably not a great idea. <laughs> that was actually probably not a great idea. It would have been better, I think, to just play GX here. Play GX, get a prize, and then next turn, hopefully... Um, do some damage to Solgaleo, set up the 2-hit KO. Um, having the Psychic typing against uh, Nakanatel is going to be pretty nice. Uh, the problem is going to be dealing with the silly the silly stack attack. Is. The Acerolas are going to come in super clutch for us here. I think the Acerolas are going to be what's going to be super important and super clutch. <laughs> Choice band Lily. Very nice Lily for my opponent. Looking for that energy. Wait, oh yeah, I went first. So I guess I couldn't play GX even if I wanted to. Uh, but the energy on Coco was definitely not ideal. <laughs> I generally thought I could electric ball <clears throat> for energy DC which I obviously can't. And Rosa, thank you so much for the follow. See an energy on the Poipole. Oh, I thought this could only attach to metal Pokemon. Okay, so we're gonna evolve. <coughs> am I streaming tomorrow? Yes, I am streaming tomorrow. I don't know exactly at what time. Probably around the same as today. Um, I think I judge here. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely gonna judge here. Um, I don't know at what time I'm gonna stream tomorrow, but early-ish. Early, early-ish. Um, we'll, we're gonna grab a fan club and I'm gonna trade it away. Only one item. Only one item. And the blower is nice. Blower is nice, prevents him from getting Nakanadels. And then, I mean, I could spread. The thing is, the two stack attack means I'm not touching these guys. But the 20 damage on the Lele could actually be important. It is two energy that I won't have for Trash Challenge, though, and that's pretty big. Yeah, we seem to be back, but I think there are like spikes for the stream. So yeah, sorry about that guys, I have no idea what happened. Eh? <laughs> okay, so... 
This thing is just dealing so much damage. <clears throat> Not a trade. Not the Mallow. I think the Zork. One, two. Well, the choice one is just not enough, right? It's 140. Yeah, it's not enough. So I think I just. Yeah, I have no idea. Something weird. Is the stream okay for you guys? Is the stream okay for you guys? I hope it is. Yeah, I should have been attacking with Zorg, I think. Only 80 damage. That's fine. That's enough. And <laughs> Grave Cell, thank you so much. Is the stream okay for you guys? Yeah? Is it stable? Because I got a lot of drop frames from it. I have no idea. I think it was... Oh, it can't be my internet connection. I think it was actually Streamlabs OBS. The chat is also not showing. The chat is also not showing, which is odd. And Channel Lab, thank you so much for resubscribing. Very kind of you, four months in a row. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Tama Drummer, thank you so much for the 100 bits as well. Thank you so much for the extra bits. <laughs> I mean, I guess I should disconnect and reconnect more often, guys. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but thank you so much. Thank you so much for the support, guys. I really appreciate it. Especially because the stream is about to end, right? So, just hang in here for the last, for the last bit. There, yeah, chat is back, chat is back. <laughs> chat is back. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for hanging in here and being patient. Okay, so my opponent decides to retreat. Um, has only played two item guards still. So I do have Kuzma. Stag attack is so strong though. I mean, I think I just Guzma KO the Nakanadel. I think that's what makes sense to me. I still have the stretcher. Judge. Eh. Judge could be good. Um, that's pretty good. I'll trade away this. I mean, basically, I have a Sorola and my opponent doesn't. And I have Palpat for a Sorola and my opponent doesn't. So that should give me an advantage, right? Oh, my other Travis is prized. But I have two Acer Olas in here. So I generally think this is fine. I generally think this is a-okay. Can we remember? And Riot is beating. 100 damage, KO. We get two prize cards. Okay, so basically, whatever I do, I'm going to hopefully out heal my opponent against this stack attackers, right? I will attack, 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 <laughs> stack, attack, stack, attack, stack, attack. Once I get two prizes, my win condition becomes Guzma KO this guy and then play GX. That's my win condition. I can also KO Zork. Oh, I can just KO Lele, actually. I can just KO Lele. Next turn I can KO Lele, and then I can KO this, and then I just play GX. I just not care. Uh, this GX attack is annoying, though. Oh, wow, he was holding on to double B-string. Is he going to retreat? Yes, he is. He's going to retreat and he's going to GX scale my Zork. I imagine. He's going crazy on the items though. One, two, three, four, five items now. Because then all I need to do, that's six. Like I KO Naganatel and then I KO Lele and that's game. Right? That's my win condition now. Should be good. And he can't use both Tag Attackers and Dustbane's GX attack. So I think I'm fine. As long as I get GX KOs every turn, I am okay. 
And there's a Sun's Eclipse. And what I can do is actually use Counter Catcher. What I can do is Counter Catcher here, which is awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six item cards. Right? Six item cards for my opponent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Mallow for the Counter Catcher, which I DT earlier on. And I'm going to grab the Rescue Stretcher. Then I am going to trade away the Enhanced Hammer. I think I'm going to start playing down cards. Um, so I'm going to counter capture this guy. And I'm going to attach here. Now I don't care about Blade GX because I just killed the Lele at any given point. Um, I will stretch her for a Zorark back. And basically this turn is going to be thin as much as possible because I have to win next turn. Right, thin as much as possible because I have to win next turn. I'm even gonna bench the Cortana. And I'm gonna discard this. And grab the Lele. And then next turn, either I goose my KO with Zork or I goose my KO with Carb. Whichever I have available. And I have another trade even. Oh, so I should have traded. Ah, uh, it's just... I mean, I guess I play a choice band. Yeah, and then I still have the other one. Do I trade the Lele though? Nah, I don't think so. But Judge would have been nice this turn. But I had to Mallow to get the Counter Catcher. That way I have the Kuzmas. And I can search for Kuzma with Lele. So that's good. That is good. Even, even choice band Coco wins me the game <laughs> against the Lele. Even Choice Man Coco wins me the game against the Lele, which is really cool. Um, Postcarp Shrine post rotation, really bad. Really, really bad post rotation. You really need strong energies to hit the numbers. Without strong energy, you just don't hit the numbers. You rely too much on the stadium. I need the Choice Band for Garb? No. No, I don't. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I do. Yeah, I do. I need a choice one in case uh, I need to use Garb to get a Lele, but it's fine. That's why I played one and I kept the other one. That's why I played one but kept the other one. <laughs> but yeah, that item means I don't, right? <laughs> but thank you, Alex. Thank you for the reminder. That's another item, so my punch is not carrying, which means he's going to KO the Garb. <laughs> and hello, Dylan. Thanks so much for joining us back once again. There's the Dustmane, there's the Cartana. <laughs> I guess the Cartana eliminates the Tapu Koko energy choice band Kuzma win condition. Um, you can drop up an Edge GX line in Postcarp deck. Yeah, you can play that as well. I just, I don't think it's enough. I don't think the deck is good enough. And the deck really wanted Octillery to work at its best. And. Uh, Octillery is no longer legal, so that's also pretty bad, or pretty sad rather. And there's a copycat, which means we have won the game, unless my opponent is playing some sort of uh, max potion in this, which you might, right? In Naganadel, you actually might play max potion. If he did, he probably wins. Well, maybe not. I would judge him. I would judge plus attack and then hope for the best. But this way we do win. We have the basic, we have the Kuzma, we have the choice band, and there's damage on a top of Lele, which means we have won the game. GG to my opponent. GG. It seems like we can't lose with the Zorogarp list, and I really like it. Of course, Zurgetry GX is an issue though. So one Zergidry GX would stop us in our tracks. I don't see any way we could deal with that. So because before you guys um, <laughs> tell me or whatever, I think playing two Psychics or even three, like playing a combination of Psychics and unit energy seems like the right way to go about it. Um, so I'm going to make those changes <clears throat> live right now. And then that's going to be the last of the stream, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Really appreciate your guys' support. 
It's been a great welcome back and I will definitely be streaming tomorrow Probably around the same time because this week coaching is definitely at a low So I will definitely be streaming tomorrow at some point or another. Thank you so much for the subscribers guys If you want to help reach the subscriber goal of 100 for September and then I'll do some sort of giveaway of codes or something if we get to that goal that would be pretty awesome and Thank you guys once again really cool to hang out here um i'll leave the list open i guess while i say my goodbye <laughs> and just in case the bottom counts are three four two and two but thank you guys so much for hanging out um zorgarb still looks pretty good post rotation grave cell thank you so much for the extra bits very kind of you and we are up to 61 subs on our first day so hopefully we can get to 100 getting to 100 seems uh really possible by the end of september so thank you guys for helping me with that and having said that i will see you guys tomorrow thank you so much and until next time bye, -bye.